Hi guys, so I'm back today with another project share. This is a mini that I created quite some time ago uh, for a friend and um, anyway that swap fell through so I still have this particular mini. This is done with DCWV's Vintage Collector. I also used pieces of the chipboard collection from My Mind's Eye, uh, Spread Your Wings and Fly, I believe is the name of it. Um, hold on. It is Find Your Wings and Fly, and uh, The Sky's the Limit. So it's, I think it's The Sky's the Limit collection. I also use pieces from Webster's Pages, Postcard to Paris 2, and cuts from my Cricut from Art Booking. I used seam binding from my stash, trims from my stash. I used a lot of things from there. Uh, I'll try and tell you where I found some of it, if you can still get it, but for the most part, I'm just going to go through and, uh, you know, show you. So for the, this is actually a envelope mini that, uh, I found on YouTube and it was by Rodriguez 101, I believe. And she did this a little bit differently than I did because what I did is I split the mini in half because this mini is 12 inches wide by eight inches tall by, I believe, four, four and a half or five inches deep. So it's a very monstrous mini. And had I left the them stacked in the way that they were originally bound, this mini would be like 10 inches thick. It would be, or like eight, it would be super, super thick. So I split it in half and now have a, a gatefold opening. So on the cover, I just used some trim from my stash and the uh, the pink here and also the iridescent here. This These two pieces are chipboard pieces from the My Mind's Eye collection. And then these are just chipboard pieces from, again, my stash. And then this is paper from the paper collection. And everything is inked in old paper. The sides of the mini look like this. Okay. And then the back is just some designer paper as well. And like I said, everything is inked in old paper. So the easiest way to show you guys this is not to open it like this, but I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to show you the one side first, and then we'll go to the other side. So opening it up at first, when you open it up in the center, I've got some chip, a piece from the chipboard collection and then some stickers from, these are from the My Mind's Eye collection, this is as well. Uh, when I first had created this mini, I had put some 3D stickers here and it spelled out SOAR and something in the book was catching and it ripped one of them off and I said, I don't want to deal with this anymore, so what I did was I took one of the hexagons which match the hexagon paper here and one of the stickers from the sticker sheet and just put it there. This is a little sticker from the Postcards to Paris 2 collection and the little Brad and then just some flowers from my stash. This first, the front cover is a waterfall and so there's plenty, plenty, plenty of room for photos and it's just held together with seam binding. Moving on to the first page, it, this page right here, this is a cut from the Art Booking Cricut. So is this. This is a little heart cut out from the paper collection. And then this is held together by magnets. And then these are three little hearts that I put on just over the magnets so that they were covered. And these are two little tags that I created from the My Mind's Eye paper. And what I did was I just cut out these little journaling cards, added some Prima paper clips, and these are from, I believe, Engraver and Lyric, and just stamped on the back for notes, journaling, whatever they want to put. And then this little piece right here, the best is yet to come, is from the My Mind's Eye chipboard collection as well. Each of these pocket pages has a little pullout, and front and back are matted with paper. When we go to this next page right here, this is just a little, uh, these are some, I believe, uh, these are some uh, 
Lord, if I could even talk. Some journaling cards from Prima, I believe, and I just matted them there. Okay. And then this pops up with a little Martha Stewart butterfly. Underneath this, you can actually slide a photo in there, and this is just a little metal flower from my stash right here. So you can put something in there, and you can slide it under there so it doesn't get covered. The next page, these little pullouts I wanted to show you. Each one of these little fold out pullouts is matted all four sides, but also these little corner pieces. Now that one won't come up. These little corner pieces, you can slide your photo behind it, and so it holds a four by six photo right there. So it's just a way to get the, the photos on there and have pretty corners. And there's a couple of those in there. And I believe it's an ornate corner cherry lynn design, which I got, I believe, at Expo. This is just a little metal decorative piece, and right behind it, you'll see that there is a small little doily right there. This is a, a word that I cut from art booking, and this is just a couple little tags that I stamped and uh, ink the edges from the paper collection. They're just plain on the back, added some seam binding to the top, and called it a day. The next page right here is, it looks like a little clipboard, but it's just a little fold out and it's got stuff on the front and back, um, so journaling and pictures can go there. This is just a simple little belly band with flowers from my stash, uh, Brad from my stash, little wood piece, and then this lace is actually lace from the Webster's Pages bring it up there. The Webster's Pages Trims and Laces collection. Okay. The next page is just a simple, uh, sorry I'm wiggling it all, all around, it's just a simple picture fr or photo frame and this photo frame comes from the cutouts pages uh, from the collection and little bre uh, paper brad from My Mind's Eye, little paper or cardstock button down here another um, this is a sticker from my mind's eye collection and I just trimmed it out with black paper some lace from my stash and this actually comes out I just wanted you know if they wanted to judge and cut the photo before they put it in there they would have that and then um, this actually slides out and it's just another place for photos and or the paper is light enough you could actually do some journaling there too and it's just a little partial page. When you come over to this side right here, this is just kind of an awkward mini to show on camera, this is a little paper doily that I glued down the edges and created a pocket out of. This is a sticker from uh, Postcards to Paris and this is a sticker from the My Mind's Eye collection and behind it is just a little uh, journaling piece from Prima. And I just, this is a stamp that I have. I don't remember where it's from, but it's so cute. I just thought it was adorable to match the mood. And these are just buttons from my stash, I believe. This page is a little more simple. And on this page right here, I have a chipboard piece, and you can slide your photo behind it. The sweet moments I didn't leave popped up, but it's just kind of the title of the page for a large photo. Again, another more paper from the paper collection on the photo mats. This piece is just a pocket that I created out of lace from my stash, sticker from the My Mind's Eye collection, and then these are just um, some tags that I created. And this is just, this is actually a fold out booklet, so with a Prima paper clip right there. The next page, I forgot to tie it back together, but these uh, pieces of seam binding actually hold these shut. And this, there's some washi tape on this page, and then also just some, I believe this is Recollections uh, lace trim on a roll. And each of these, you untie them, and you just flip them open, and they open up this way. So they open up two ways on both sides. So there's uh, plenty of room for little photos. Okay. I guess there's a little adhesive left on there from when I put the photo or the paper down. 
another will pull out for a four by six. All of these will comfortably hold four by six photos. Going to the page on the back, this is a, pay, a, a chipboard, or not chipboard, but a cardstock sticker from Postcards to Paris. This is a 3D sticker, a little lace doily that I had. This pay, piece right here, this is a chipboard piece that I glossy accented. The pocket is actually one of the Postcard to Paris uh, bags, and I just created a little tag to go in it. And then this brad is from the My Mind's Eye Spread Your Wings and Fly collection. Okay, simple little side pocket right here. And just another couple little tags that I created. Slot, slot in. This is a little, I want to say it's a resin piece, but I don't think it is. Uh, from Postcards to Paris, and I'll just bring it up. This is a little chipboard piece from My Mind's Eye. And then, again, it's just a little slide out pocket. A couple little simple photo mats from the collection. Uh, just paper from the paper collection in a scallop circle. This is um, postcards to Paris. This is just a little sticker that I backed on some black cardstock. Another little four fold out with the corners. And then another little, this is a little bag from postcards to Paris with some tags that I created and some chipboard buttons that go here, a little lace doily, some lace from my stash. Kept it pretty simple. On this, this is a 3D sticker from My Mind's Eye, and then I just created these two little tags with seam binding at the top to go in there. These are four little kind of quarter pockets, and under each of these, you can actually slide the photo just like that. So, get that back in there so I don't lose it. So on each of these, and then there's a little pull out like that. So there's that one, and then this one, little corner piece, slide stuff under, top piece, slide stuff under, and same for that one. This bottom piece, you'll slide under. Okay, so stick that back in there. Now let's go ahead and slide across the book to the other side. Okay, and the front cover again, this is just a chipboard piece from my mind's eye. And um, opening it up on this side as well. Okay, this might be a little easier to show, maybe not. Okay, on this side right here, another waterfall with the paper collection, okay? So lots of room for photos, some flowers from my stash. This is just a little sticker from uh, Postcards to Paris and some chipboard pieces with a brad from my mind's eye and some flowers from my stash. This little piece, kind of working backwards, if you look at it, it is is another doily. Here's some washi from my mind's eye, but this is doily from my stash. This is actually paper from the paper collection. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm trying to hold this in a way that it won't show glare. And then just a couple little tags that I created from the collection. This is a little canvas sticker or canvas um, tag from my, my stash. And then I believe this is a lyric butterfly. And then, again, all of these have pull-outs like that. And plenty, plenty of room for 4 by 6 photos. This is a simple pocket that I created um, from my Cricut. Um, this is a Spellbinders die, and then this is from uh, My Favorite Things, and just a couple paper clips from my collection. Just a couple little tags that I created from some Prima uh, tags that I had. Um, just some dyes. This is a quick cuts lace doily or heart doily. And another little fold out right here, which covers up a belly band. A uh, button for my stash, doily for my stash, a couple tags that I created. This frame right here is from the cutouts from the collection. And this is just a frame which I use some of my. Um, Lace, and then this is a chipboard piece just to reinforce the belly band. 
and but right behind there is a little stamp of an old-fashioned camera that I fussy cut and glossy accented just for some added detail. On this, it's a simple pocket made out of the paper collection. Also, some washi from the collection, just some buttons from my stash, and a couple brads from the My Mind's Eye. This is also a My Mind's Eye chipboard piece, and then there's just a photo mat place for journaling as well on this page. Another little quarter pages, and again, these all have pullouts, and all of these you can um, slide things behind. So I won't go through and do that, but each one of these little cut out from the collections, and I just used them and I left them unadhered, so you could slide a photo behind those. This little piece right here, I found every time I'd open and close the book, it would catch, and so. The outside piece is a frame from the collection, which I fussy cut. This piece right here is a piece from the Art Booking Cricut collection, and it's the film strip, which I just put a little piece of acetate behind it. And then under, you can actually slide underneath that. You can put photos underneath that. But I put this here for transport, so it's not going to catch. And then another little cutout from the collection, a little key, and this little metal bobbin thing from my collection as well, or my stash. And this is another little fold out. A couple little tags. This Polaroid and this sentiment right here came from art booking as well, along with the background. And they're just a bunch of arrows. You can see some pages I really used my Cricut and some I did not. Okay. This little piece right here is a cameo from Butterbee Scraps along with the metal uh, frame. And you can actually slide things underneath the metal frame in order to put a picture on that photo mat. And this is just another little cutout from the collection. These are uh, a couple little, not cut out from the collection, but this is cut out from my Cricut using the paper. And then this as well, always and, to, uh, always and forever together, is from Art Booking. And again, another little cutout right there, or pull out, I should say. This is a frame from the, the cutout collection, and I just uh, decorated it with some flowers from my stash. There's a little button right there, some lace from my stash and some seam binding. I just kept it simple. This sentiment right here is actually uh, cut out from one of the paper, the papers in the collection. Okay. This piece right here is a little kind of wood recollections frame and I just uh, added a little tab to this so that uh, my friend could pull this out and use it um, to get the frame in and out, so I didn't fully adhere this. This little mustachy heart is uh, just a cutout from the collection. They have this uh, paper, and it's all just hearts, and so I just fussy cut a couple of those. Lace from my stash. This little piece pulls up as well. Okay, this is, oops, let's fold that in. This is just a little pocket with a couple little tags right in there. And another, this is the Quick Cuts Lace Doily, and I just made it into a pocket. Okay. Another little side pullout, little butterfly from my stash, and this is actually a Trico butterfly. And this is just another simple photo mat with a couple tags behind it, and underneath the tags you can actually slide a photo like this. This is a little cutout from the hexagon paper from the collection and this is another little cutout from the paper as well. Uh, just a simple little kind of pocket right there. Couple, Another couple little tags and this pulls out as well. And then this is just a simple photo mat with the back pocket right here. Created the pocket and Again, underneath, like the heart, you can uh, slide your photo in there as well. The banner down here, I actually have a banner, or like a little banner punch, and I just created this with some baker's twine and just some, these were actually buttons, and I cut off the backs from there and just glued them down and just spelled out family here. 
excuse me. So that's all that I have for the pages. And then there's the back cover right here. And the back cover is, um, this is a little sticker from Postcards to Paris. This is a chipboard piece from my mind's eye. And I just put some more lace from my stash, added some flowers from my stash. Here's another little sticker from Postcards to Paris. And um, you can slide. I left the top open so you can actually slide a photo right in there and hopefully my arm isn't going to block the whole thing. So that is all that I have for this share. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, again, just so uh, you guys all know that this, this mini was actually created before um, Michael's released the rest of the embellishments that went through the paper, you know, went with the vintage collector. And, um, so this is all like kind of piecemealed together. It's, it's, you know, a little bit of this collection, a little bit of that collection. There's not a lot of, um, you know, it's all done with the paper, but it's, um, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.